What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna use the Blender add-on Flowify in order to generate a pattern that flows along a curved surface. If you have any questions about anything we talk about, feel free to leave them down below. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so remember that Flowify is an add-on from Mark Kingsnorth that basically allows you to take an object and bend it along a surface. So it's similar to Conform Object, but this one uses kind of a reference plane in order to set the way that your object is going to bend along that surface. This is extremely valuable to me because I, I feel like it gives me a little bit more control over um, the way that my base surface works relative to the final surface where um, Conform Object, I think, uh, is also a great tool, but it's maybe a little bit less precise and a little bit more for uh, maybe like character modeling or things like that. Both great tools. It just depends on what you're trying to do. All right, so what I want to do in this situation is I want to take this window and I want to apply it to this curved surface. And so the window is very simple geometry. Um, it's basically just a collection of surfaces that are in here, just kind of making up this window shape. And I've got something in here which is a little overlap, so I'm going to fix that real quick. All right, so this window is very simple, right? It's just a rectangle that I inset and then um, extruded out and I flipped it so that I have faces on both sides. But it's a very simple piece of geometry, but I want this window to turn a corner. And so this is an example of a situation where Flowify is especially helpful. And so what I've done is I've created this target plane right here. So the target plane is just a flat surface and that's what you're going to use to map onto this other surface. I'll go ahead and move my Bonnie model out of the way. Um, and so what we're going to do with Flowify Active is we're going to right click on the object that we want to flow. So you just have to select the object, nothing else, but then you can right click and do a Flowify right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick a point on this surface right here. That's going to be basically your base surface. And then you move your mouse and you pick a point on a quad target surface. This needs to be a quad in order for this to work properly. And your faces both need to be, um, your, your faces both need to be oriented the proper direction like this. And so what this is going to do is this is going to take this object and it's going to flow it or bend it along this surface. And so one of the cool things about this is this is like a live bend in here, meaning that I can like move this in or out, um, around, and it's going to move that live. But how far away this object is from your base surface is going to set the way this is mapped. Now, we have a little bit of a problem. And the problem is if we look at the way this glass is being bent around this corner, it's adding all of the geometry right in the middle, which kind of makes sense when you think about it. So if you look at the way the surface was created, I've beveled an edge, but the problem is that means that all of your supporting geometry here in the middle or is, is centered in the middle right here. And so what you would do with your target surface in order to actually get this to work, and I'm going to turn this back on and let's actually duplicate this so you can see the whole thing. So I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm going to do a shift D to duplicate it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this object right here. And so for this one, instead of having all of my supporting geometry in here, I'm just going to tab in edit mode and I'm just going to add a couple edge loops. So I'm just going to do a control R right here and I'm going to scroll my mouse up until the supporting geometry on this side um, and the supporting geometry on this side is about the same size. So notice how now this is made up of surfaces that are kind of equally spaced on this surface right here. That means you're going to get a much smoother result. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select this object, right click and do a Flowify. And I'm going to click on this corner point right here, this corner point right here. And notice what that does is that bends this along this surface, but it does a better job. Notice how these are more uniform on here now than they were over here. This one had like a wide pane and then a narrow pane in here. So you get a much more uniform result. Now, one other thing about this that can really help you is remember that this is basically taking this object and I'm going to hide my base object so you can see this. It's splitting up this base surface into segments and then it's basically mapping each one of those in here. So it's using this to kind of like slice up your base 
geometry um, in order to apply it to the surface. Well, in this situation, what I would do is I might take this object and I might add a subdivision surface modifier to it to add some detail. Now, we don't wanna do that like this, even though that is kind of an interesting result, it's obviously not what we're going for over here. But what we could do instead is instead of using the Catmull Clark, we can use the simple subdivide and watch what happens when I add additional subdivisions in here with the simple subdivision. So notice how this mapping gets a lot smoother. And so by adding that additional geometric detail in here, it just gives Flowify more things to kind of split this up with right here. And so where this starts getting really powerful is when you have more complex shapes. Like for example, I've got a shape over here that has more like up and down. And I could even, um, if I wanted to, I could come in here, do some proportional editing and kind of have this go out as well. Like it doesn't have to be flat, um, but I could go ahead and have this be kind of like an outward moving shape as well. And um, a lot of this kind of depends on what you're trying to do, obviously, but let's say we were to move this back. It doesn't matter as long as the shape stays and retains that kind of like quad surface. So as long as it retains that quad nature right here, you can take this shape. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do a flowify and I can just click this corner point. I can click this corner point right here and it's going to apply this in here. Now you could take this object and you could add that subdivision surface modifier again. So subdivision surface right here. Obviously we don't want this. We want the simple right here, but then it's going to subdivide this more and it's going to fit along that curve even better. Now um, you can see how the more subdivisions I add in here, the more uh, this geometry has the ability to kind of bend. So, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, obviously, like these um, in the real world would be straight, but these are kind of deforming with the mesh right here. But you can definitely use this in order to bend complex shapes along surfaces. And the other cool thing about this is this will adjust as well. So like if I move this back and forth, right, because it's just bending this along a mesh, this is going to take this and it's going to move it along with the object right here. So same over here, if I was to make an adjustment, so say I picked a few of these shapes over here on the flat surface and I made them a different material. So say we added another glass material, or let's say we added a metal material that's like red, I could take these and I could assign it and that's going to adjust over here. So the power in this Flowify is the fact that this is actually applied as a modifier and you can make changes and adjustments over here on this surface um, that are going to reflect over here, but I don't have to deal with all the like craziness of a bent, uh, of, of a bent surface or anything like this. Like I've said before, I've used an extension like this for SketchUp and really liked it. I like this one even better in Blender because it, uh, it it's kind of a live subdivision and bend along the surface. So I'd love to hear from you what you think about Flowify in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.